You know, a lot of people eat sardines. They're very healthy. I consume them. They're great. A very good source of omega-3 fatty acids. But I want to introduce you to another food that has even higher amounts of omega-3 fatty acids, cod liver. I recommend you have both because they both have their own strengths. But so many people have never even heard about cod liver. Uh, I think they're missing out. Now, I want to first touch on um, this cod liver oil thing because why do they have cod liver oil and why don't they promote other fish liver oil type products? And that is because something's very unique about the codfish. In the muscle of the codfish, there's not much oil. Why is that? Because all of the oil is in the cod's liver, not the muscle. In a salmon, they have small livers, not as much oil, hardly at all. Most of it is in the muscle meat. So let's start with the omega-3 fatty acids. That would be both EPA and DHA. EPA is more for inflammation and DHA is more for brain, nerve, heart. So with omega-3 fats, with sardines, we're dealing with 0.9 to 2 grams of omega-3 fatty acids versus cod liver, we're dealing with 9 to 11 grams of omega-3 fatty acids. So hands down, cod liver has way more omega-3 fatty acids. All right, next one is vitamin D. Sardines will give you 4.8 micrograms. That basically gives you like 24% of your RDAs. Yet on the cod liver side, we're talking about 100 micrograms. So 4.8 micrograms to 100 micrograms per cod liver. That's going to give you 500% of the RDA. Next one is vitamin A. I'm not talking about beta carotene. I'm talking about the active form called retinol. Vitamin A is for your vision, vision at night especially, the inner mucosal uh, membranes of your mouth, your throat, your sinuses, your lungs. Also, vitamin A is very important for your thyroid. And also, vitamin A works with iodine. In fact, if you're low in vitamin A, your thyroid could enlarge. So with sardines, you get about 32 micrograms. But with cod liver, we're talking about 5,100 micrograms, which is about 638% of the RDAs. So sardines is 4%. Cod liver is 638%. All right, now let's go to protein, actual protein. We have 24.6 grams. On the cod liver side, we only have 4.6 grams, much lower. So 24.6 to 4.6. Sardines have much more protein, and that's probably because cod liver is mostly fat. All right, next one is folate, a very important vitamin, vitamin B9. Sardines, 10 micrograms, cod liver, 300 micrograms. Okay, now let's talk about calcium. On the sardine side, we have 392 milligrams. And on the cod liver side, we only have 10 milligrams. Okay, so sardines have much more calcium. Let's talk about phosphorus. Okay, on the sardine side, we have 545 milligrams. Versus the cod liver side, we only have 100 milligrams. 545 milligrams to 100 milligrams for the cod liver. And then we get to B12. On the sardine side, we're dealing with 11 micrograms. And on the cod liver, we're dealing with slightly less, like 10.6 micrograms. So as far as the B12, it's almost the same, just a little bit more on the sardine side. So now do you see why you need both? Because uh, cod liver oil has some things that the sardines don't have, and the sardines have things that the cod liver doesn't have. And then if we look at sardines uh, related to salmon, okay, the salmon does have more B vitamins, but the sardines have more calcium, more phosphorus, more selenium, more iron, more magnesium, and more zinc. Now, if you have not seen my video on the benefits of cod liver oil, you should check it out. I put it up right here. 